Hello everyone and welcome to a video in Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.1.3. This is from a live stream where I was trying to get Deck Q's Buran and Energy Lifter to work in Realism Overhaul. I couldn't find any configuration for it. This is a wonderful mod, the great models of Buran and Energia. And um, the trick is that it's from before 1.1 and the conversion to Unity 5. And so certain things definitely don't work, like the wheels. You know that the wheels aren't out and they're bugged. So I, I'll have to put some other landing gear there. I w also wasn't able to get the jets working yet. Uh, how advanced jet engines works with that is a little bit complicated. But I decided it was still workable enough to try and see if it could lift stuff. And I've already tested it out at this point. This is uh, a more operational launch that I've got here, trying to lift a Salyut 7 into orbit. The capacity for the Buran is 30 tons, so it could easily lift a Salyut 7. That is an appropriately scaled model of that Soviet space station, and that's from Raider Nick. And I also put a little tank in the back there for extra oxygen. The RCS thrusters on Buran use gaseous oxygen and Sintin, whereas the main engines on it, uh, well, it doesn't have main engines, the OMS engines are RD. 58 S's and they use Sintin and liquid oxygen, but I needed more extra gaseous oxygen because I don't have a way of converting from liquid oxygen to gaseous oxygen, so I put an extra tank in the cargo bay. You can see me trying to figure out how to put the separatrons basically on the boosters and I really couldn't figure out a way, but based on previous tests, I realized that the boosters could come off safely without separatrons, so I'll have to figure out where to put them later on. One other great feature of this mod is the launch tower and taking a look at it out here it really looks wonderful and even better it uh, even though a little bit of it seems to be colliding with the model it uh, it doesn't have, have any problems uh, even with a uh, KOS launch here I've got a KOS script launching Buran here sorry uh, no audio because I was playing uh, unacceptable music at the time uh, but uh, here KOS is launching Buran safely from that launch tower and it'll even do the roll program, you'll notice here. So uh, Buran copied the Space Shuttle's roll maneuver. And uh, oddly enough, this script does not work with the Space Shuttle, even though it basically does the same stuff. But it does seem to work fairly well with Buran. And we've got Jeb in there, um, because we just had to. Of course, the first launch of Buran was uncrewed and completely automated. But uh, Jeb snuck in, so I just let him get on with it. I haven't quite figured out how to make the cockpit uh, not requiring a crew. It still says uh, crew required one. So I'll have to figure that out. I guess I just have to change it to zero, but I'm not... I, I've never done that before, so I'm not sure that works. Anyway, uh, part of the way I had to make this realism overall compatible was getting the fuels right, because of course, by default, it had liquid fuel and oxidizer. Now, I went with the burn times, as you see, the boosters separate. The boosters are supposed to burn for 2 minutes and 20 seconds to 2 minutes and 30 seconds. But it seems like to get them burning for that long, it has to carry a lot more fuel than uh, various documents say they actually carried. So maybe the 2 minutes and 20 seconds, 2 minutes and 30 seconds is with them throttling down a bit. I'll have to work on that. I'm not entirely sure. It, it is a little bit overpowered as we see the energy apportion with the RD0120s finish its work. It also has no separatrons so it's just sort of floating away again i have no idea where to put the separatrons and here uh buran is desperately trying to make orbit because it's uh headed back into the atmosphere i was a little bit delayed in getting that done because i accidentally kept the uh, rear fuel tank locked and if you try and light the engines with the rear fuel tank locked they uh you have an issue and you have to go back to the space center anyway long story rd 58s uh, are working and uh, the Sintin and liquid oxygen are getting used. But the problem with the li energy lifter is even though I've got the burn times right, it seems like it's much heavier and carrying a lot more fuel and heavier with fuel because I got the structural masses right um, than it should be. It can get off the ground easily as you could see. Uh, no problems there, but uh, it has a lot of the extra delta V. I mean, it has a lot of extra cap capacity. Uh, this particular lifter. So, I mean, if they could have fit more fuel in, they uh, they could have had uh, much larger cargo capacity than just the 30 tons. Anyway, here I go deploying the Salyut, and um, yep, just making sure 
Everything is working. The RCS on the Buran works. It just guzzles a lot of the gaseous oxygen, which is tough because the gaseous oxygen... Oops, the coupling of the, sort of a little bit rough there. The gaseous oxygen is, of course, also what the crew breathes. So, yeah, that's the thing that says oxygen there, and that's why I've got, like, a multiple millions of it. Anyway, Sally was fine despite that bump, and we deployed its solar panels. And so it's ready to go as a space station, well, as perhaps just one module of a space station. And then we retroburned, and I wanted to see how well Buran could get back in. And this is another problem, uh, because unfortunately, as with so many things in Realism Overhaul, if you just configure them, um, there are issues with trying to get it back down through the atmosphere. Uh, everything looks fine initially, of course, and we do have plenty of oxygen, probably more more RCS fuel than we need, strictly speaking. There, Actually, we're short on Sintin. Sintin, if you're wondering, is actually just a form of kerosene. It's like a highly reformed form of kerosene, which is more efficient, but much, much more expensive. So not very efficient to use that in terms of cost, but great on the ISP. I think the ISP of the RD58S is like 362 seconds, which is great. Uh, for any form of kerosene. Uh, you can see the problem here. Uh, we have definite aerodynamic problems. Looking at it now, I wonder if it's the aerodynamic surfaces that are sort of like acting backwards or something, but I'm not sure. Um, definitely, uh, definitely I checked the center mass and center lift, and I'll show that at the end of this video. Uh, but yeah, especially uh, if you look at this roll here that it's doing, it makes me think that uh, it's got something backwards, right? Like it's trying to it's trying to correct the roll in a backwards way, and so maybe that's the thing. Yeah, I mean heat tolerance wise was all right, nothing burned up. It was all quite uh, quite solid on that, but aerodynamically just a basket case, and it shouldn't have been. I mean it's well, it is what it is. I can't really change its aerodynamics too much because this is definitely how it looks. So yeah. That's that's the rub there. But anyway, so altogether though, I think it's good progress. I mean, for making this mod uh, compatible with Realism Overhaul, it's good progress. But I still have a lot of work to do, obviously. So yeah, poor Jeb. And um, yeah, as far as I know, I don't think Buran had an escape system. Not that I know of. Anyway, uh, yeah, here I'm checking out the center of lift and center of mass. I check it with the cargo bay close as well. Um, there we go. It does change a little bit, but that this is the worst case scenario that I'm looking at right now. Uh, as fuel depletes, as and fuel was depleted by the time we were coming back in, you know, it was a little bit less in the rear tank. The center of mass moves forward, so and you can see me removing the what you got oxygen tank in the back. And somebody asked me to see how it was tilted up, so I changed it to the proper angle of attack. Up, 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 up. And that just uh, moved the center of lift further back. So I'm a little bit puzzled by that, and also I have to fix the jet engines. The progress is being made so far. At least I can say that I think I'm ready to do a rocket profile on this, so you'll be seeing that soon. Because at least we can do the launch part of this properly. So on that note, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.